little bit. Once we get to about 50 or so people on, uh, we'll, we'll get started with that. But most of you guys are probably here because of World of Warships. And so here we go in our first battle of the day in ranked with the whale boat, the Johan de Witt. Any of you guys in chat have her? And if so, do you like her? The parts you have left are working fine. That is very important, Duckman. Very important. And I'm glad to hear that. Uh... Activity feed and we need to replay there we go there's the proper five tens for you duckman ethereal underscore i duckman just resubscribed for 12 months 12 months <laughs> oh Pharrell1111, hello, I do not speak Russian, or uh, I cannot read uh, Cyrillic, I'm assuming that's Russian. If somebody wouldn't mind doing a Google Translate, that would be very handy. You enjoy Dewitch? It's better ship than you are a player? Okay. Hello, Dutch. Just checking to make sure my stream is working. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh. Now we have two Georgias. They have one. And we have a Palmer. I like those ships. They've got an FDG as well. Okay. Hello, everyone from Russia. Good mood and good stream. <laughs> well, thank you, Pharrell. Hello to you, too. And yeah, I'm hoping oh, good move. put it in too. Okay. Yep. I'm looking for I was forward... actually reading um the translation. Oh, okay, okay. I didn't realize someone else already put it in. Thanks, Duckman. This poor Drake is about to get wrecked by the Georgia. T Bone, I hope so. Oh, I think he was using H E. Do I think more hybrids are coming? Yeah, probably. They seem to have been working well for Wargaming so far. They're probably... I mean, we're not privy to sales numbers, of course, but... They're probably generating some good sales. So... Alright, Drake shot at me for a little bit and then decided to look someplace else. He might have luck chucked torps in my direction. Oh, take the Citadel! Yes! And we've already lost a ship. <laughs> Here I am working down this guy, thinking I'm, we're gonna get him, we're gonna get him, and then we lose a ship. That's unfortunate. Let's call in a Dutch airstrike, shall we? Make sure this guy so goes Dutch, down. Dutch Eagle has a question. Okay. He says, if I may ask, is the CC code in the giveaway of 0.10.5 or 0.10.6? I'm pretty sure it's for the new... It, it might be... It might be the previous patch at the start, Dutch. Because uh, I do have a few extras of those laying around. Alright, now's where I wish I had the uh, airstrike available to me, but that's okay. Our Buki is actually backing into B cap. I like this. Let me Con? guess that you've already won the limit from the last one. Khan, I would love to be a community manager for Wargaming. I've already applied uh, before. Uh, the biggest problem I have is uh, as, a, as a teacher, I cannot uh, basically go back on that contract at this point. I think I, I think I have like one week to tell them, nope, I'm not going to be with Wargaming anymore. And I just don't think that that's going to work out, uh, unfortunately. Maybe in a few years, though, uh, I can get in on that, but... Yeah, right I now, agree. Doesn't he seem should to be, be doing working. that, too, guys. I think he should be doing it, too. Doing what? You mean manager stuff? That. Yep. Oh. I even told you that in the beginning. 
Yes, you did. How is this Alaska still alive? <laughs> Nobody can kill this Alaska over there. That's crazy. As much time and everything as you put into this, I mean, mm. it's that's. But that's just me. Yeah, that's true. I do put a lot of time into this. I, I just enjoy the game, as you know. So. I mean, why not get paid to do it? Yeah, that that and that's a valid, valid argument or opinion. Come on. But again, it's my POV, and I only see so much, so mm -hmm. I don't see behind the scenes with everything else going on in your life. And what would stop you from doing it? So, it's just uh, <laughs> outside POV. <laughs> oh god, I love that. So Wargaming should check with me next time they open a position. Uh, sure. Exactly! We'll have to make that something, guys. Hashtag ask Zath first. <laughs> Oh my god, now we got a Georgia that's just going full broadside to the FDG and CCAP, just full send. That's, uh, probably not getting well for him. Well, right, that way it doesn't, right, I know what you mean. Um, the, the problem is, is that, uh, you know, Wargaming's hiring schedule is on Wargaming's hiring schedule, and so it's difficult to time that necessarily. Um, but, you know, I would absolutely enjoy an opportunity to uh, to work for that. Alright. Heal up. You look like you could use some Dutch planes. As our Georgia goes down. Surprise, surprise. Yes, I am in the Chicagoland area, uh, EJ. Yes! Oh, big hit there. Big hit there. It's good to see the Georgia coming with me. I like this. And the Aegir did a nice job of just kind of getting stuck here, so... Let's see if I can get him with another strike. I have a feeling that he's going to pull forward and try to torpedo the, the Georgia. And there he comes. There he goes. Alright, I have something for that. Oh yeah! Take the bombs! Alright, now. By the way, the I'll torps. be in neck, your neck of the woods next year. Oh yeah? For what? Um, my best friend wants me to go with her to Maine. Maine? Maine. Uh, Illinois Let isn't that finish. close to Maine. <laughs> Let me finish. Okay. But we're talking about side trips to Boston and such. Okay, so you might stop in Chicago or something on the way. Yeah, we're talking about just doing all kinds of touristy stuff. That's cool. I've never been, you know, up in that area. I love that idea, uh, by the way. Uh, and Cthulhu, that's hilarious. Yes, we'll call it a Dutch oven. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, why did you beach? Really? You could do that to me through my bow? Tony torpedo bombers coming in. These torpedoes are supposed to be pretty crap and the planes are supposed to be pretty crap too, but apparently they just, you know, aren't when they're being used against me. When I'm using them, they're crap, but, you know. Such is life. Donskoy! Donskoy! Get out here, Hillary Clinton! That's literally the person's name, Hillary Clinton. I see that. Who put that island in the way, right? I mean... Come on, Georgia! Our other Georgia died going full send in, and this Donskoy, what are you doing? Come on, do something! Oh, 
I learned something new in the game yesterday. Yeah, what did you learn? I learned that people use the mini map to aim. Oh yes, of course. Absolutely. And I just, I never, it never occurred to me to use it to aim instead of aiming at the people themselves mm -hmm. with my regular aiming. But it's a thing. And it's absolutely a thing. And it's an interesting thing because it actually works quite well. It's just very finicky. Come on, come on. Take the Citadels. Oh, yes, take them all. No, I have not watched his aiming video. Potato qualities, yeah. Yeah, I learned this through Captain Murphy. Oh, nice. This FDG is blocking the Tony. And I died anyway. Come so, on, Don Squake, get in here. I get a lot of these questions a lot. You haven't watched so-and-so's video. You haven't watched so-and-so videos. Guys, along with streaming, um, I mod. And, and I'm a mother of six. So watching YouTube videos, I don't always have much time to do that. Oh, this is Chillery Hinton. Okay, that that's the ah. reason. I see. I see it. Come on. Why is the Georgia going south? Don't deal with that. Kids, that's not counting the fur babies. Right. And there goes. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, but Duckman, you have to understand my older kids, when I had them, I lived what? out in the middle of the woods. And when I say the middle of the woods, I mean we had to haul our own water. Um, we used propane. We didn't have amenities like we lived out in oh. the woods in the middle of nowhere we won so, that game not much to do oh my god we won that game guys guys we have 54 53 people watching right now please post in chat if you think you'll be able to join us for some stream raiders if so i'll get us if there's a bunch we'll we'll get started if not uh we'll hold off a little bit longer uh for more people to join in all right Simboto says, yes. That was a good battle. Let's go back and see how the how that looks. Duckman says, no. That's fair enough. And back in the day, Duckman, it was. It was nice living out in the middle of nowhere. It was it was a nice life. I worked for the Grand Canyon. It was great. But now so much. Hey, Skyring. So, Khan, the idea of Stream Raiders, uh, let me let me switch over here and I'll walk you through it. So the idea about Stream Raiders is you go to, uh, it, it's a browser game, you link your Twitch account to it, and it, it's like an RPG. Uh, you have an army, it would help if I have a tab open on my screen, you've got an army and you basically level up the army, okay, and you place your different units on the battlefield based off of what will work. So I'll go ahead and start. Go ahead, get guys, get ready to jump in for Stream Raiders. Uh, we need every one of you guys to help out if, this, if we're going to win this. This is a four skull difficulty, but it's a, it's a good good chest, so we want to go for it. And then right after that, we go to a, uh, a loyalty chest, which is even better uh, stuff for you guys, okay? Meadowhawk, take care, man. You watch streams all the time. Every time people switch to it and you're like, why? Uh, so the idea is it's something kind of fun to do in between matches or like for me between replays or something along those lines. Uh, it's something that allows you, the viewer, to be a little bit more uh, engaged in what's going on uh, and feel like you are, uh, you know, doing something with us at the same time. And the idea is that we're all in this together. We're all trying to go. So I'm going to go to start battle. Uh, T-Bone, you will see the link in the chat momentarily as soon as I get started with the battle. Ta-da! Yeah, it's basically community team building, guys. Yep. Is the best way to put it. Yep. So you want to pick and... out... Go ahead. No, no, no. 
So you want to pick uh, units that are going to be helpful, and when you pick a unit, you might see a sword above somebody. This is something Silicon taught me. Uh, that tells you that these units are best suited for that particular situation. So I'm going to go ahead and drop a vampire down. You put a unit down, as Felipe has done already, and then every... Uh, every uh, five minutes you can deploy another unit. So the idea is every five minutes you pop one in. It's a 30 minute deployment period. So uh, realistically, you're going to put down up to five units here. Uh, but it's just something kind of fun that you can do while uh, things are going. There's the ability to boost them to epic size, like uh, like my vampire here. All right. Um, There's lots of skins aw. you can collect, guys. And there are Look some at that cool cute skin. skins. Yeah, that Isn't look at Silken skin. That's that is very cute. And when you epic that, it changes. No, that's awesome. When she becomes an epic, she turns into a witch. That's awesome. So yeah, that's the that's the whole idea behind Stream Raiders. Is it's just it's just something kind of fun to do with people offside. It's kind of similar to how Con. Remember, I was doing marbles for a while, and we did you know marble races every hour. Uh, this time we do we do this instead, um, and then we give away big prizes when we do our uh, boss fights. So um, you'll definitely want to if we can get to the boss fight right away, you're definitely going to want to put units down and, and try to get as many kills as possible for that boss fight so you can win some good prizes. At least that's the plan. All right, well let's get back to warships. And another way that you can interact with me in, in, in chat is actually through Dixper, uh, which is something that you'll be seeing in chat every now and then. I think I can do exclamation point Dixper and pop it up. There it is. Uh, if you're a subscriber like iDuckman, you automatically get, I believe it is 10 containers worth of things that you open. Uh, and then those things can do different things to modify the, the uh, screen. And it modifies my screen, what I see. And obviously you guys get to see it too. But uh, there's all kinds of things that you can do in there. And it's all, oh, God's sakes, I got carriers. It's, it's all based off of, uh, you know, the idea of trying to mess with me and, uh, you know, get me to lose essentially. You do, you do right now, Duckman, because you subbed. Darknet, thank you for the follow. Darknet underscore PT is now following. And we had a couple, uh, a goodie one EU followed before the stream site to thank him. And, uh, Karamk6 as so followed. So thank you for that followage. Oh god, where do I want to go? Are you here? You are here. Okay. Uh All right, sorry. I'm just uh, just typing in the chat there, guys. Didn't mean to ignore you for there for a minute there. That's okay. I was reading Duckman, so <laughs> he's got a dicks on his purr already. He doesn't need another. He said. Okay. Don't worry about trying to keep. care about rocket planes I'm not gonna bother offensive firing him there's only nine people in the giveaway oh that's unfortunate don't forget guys exclamation point ticket gets you in our giveaway I mean it's it's just a CC code I mean you know nothing good just a CC container that could have a ship in it mm-hmm I got the kid out of it that's right, you did. I still owe you a replay on that. Mm hmm.
What does that mean, Duckman? So, oh, destroy your odds. I see, I see. Sith Kitten got a kid. You can get to your eight ships out of CC containers. And look, Aravuki's almost dead already. That's exciting. <laughs> seventh yeah, the seventh kid. That's right. It's ridiculous, huh? See, me and kids. No matter where I go, there they are. Hmm. Why I went and got spayed. Well, well, we've managed to keep them out of A so far, so that's good. Both radar cruisers on the enemy team have gone to A. Okay. Spot it for just a second, and then I'll go behind cover. Ta-da! Yeah, Sith Kitten, you have a gift. Huh? I have a, a Prince Frederick waiting for me and my gifts. I want it. From what? Um, a Discord giveaway. Oh, nice. Did turn out thing here. You got the Marceau, and you can't get a win. Marceau is co-op. That'll get you a win. Marceau is a very difficult ship to play. Why is this forty-six opening up? He's going to turn in and possibly speed up. We'll see. Nope, he turned the other way. Damn. It's alright. I got a sticky fire on him nonetheless. No Dutch oven this time. Aww. I know, right? Six decider. We have a Bismarck charging into the cap there. Wow. And let's just use our magic anti air. Magic anti air. Oh, I hit the wrong button. Wow. Okay, so that's without using magic anti air. That's even better. Good, good. 46 is... Ah, we lost a Bismarck. I wonder if the 46 is telegraphing his torpedoes. Because as soon as he fired his torpedoes, if you look at it, the Lenin has changed course. Sometimes the post-war anti-air goes up against World War II planes, right? And early World War II planes at that. Look at the 46 shooting again. Come on, dude. What are you doing? You're going to get yourself killed. This is not going to work out well. Oh, we lost the Ibuki over there too now. So our team on the other side is just falling apart.
What's up, Avissi? How you doing? What's up, Vips? <clears throat> This, I have AP my, loaded too, bud. My OG mod. He's been a mod since I was... Oh, nice hit. Barely trying to hit affiliate. Damn, I really, really now wish I didn't screw up the... I hit the wrong button earlier and unfortunately started my Hydro when I wanted to use Defensive Fire. Oh well. Anti-air defense expert! Come on, Lennon. Take the Dutch oven. Yes, Dutch oven! I wish that 46 would have used Hydro earlier. Oh well. Let's see if I can sit it out this thing. I can. That's cute. Let me continue citadeling you. Thank you. Oh, hey, cool. Our 46, uh... 46 rammed the new sashimi for some odd reason. <laughs> uh, and he says that was accidental. Well done. Oh, I can heal. It doesn't matter. Uh, you know, I try to dodge carriers in the queue. Unfortunately, it doesn't happen all the time, so. And for some odd reason, our Friesland. I, I'm surprised at how low he is. I don't know why, what happened at A, but our team basically just fell apart, so. Very impressive. Thanks, T-Bone. Uh, he might have taken a torpedo. I mean, he's got both radar cruisers over there, so I wouldn't be surprised if uh, something happened over there. But, I mean, look at our Shokaku's position. A1 is not how stake is done in this game. So, oh well. That's why I hate having carriers. I almost always end up uh, with the carrier that does that uh, versus, you know, the enemy carrier that knows what he's doing and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, the enemy Kaga knew what he was doing. Oh well. Just a reminder, guys, we are doing stream raiders. Uh, make sure you put units down if you can, please. We only have 13 people here. We need stuff to get, get in here and kill these saloons because stuff's going to come out of here. Uh, so we absolutely need uh, units. If you've got rogues, fast units, that'll be helpful, I think. Um, otherwise, just whatever you think can beat orcs. These things are, are really... Really a pain in the butt. Alright, let's get back to the game. That's right, Martin. Exactly right. Now, if I were playing Destroyer, it wouldn't be such a big deal. Um, but I'm playing the Johan de Vett instead because I figure, hey, I can grind up that ship line, so... Eh, Simboto, don't worry about it. If y'all have all level 1 people, it's not a big deal. Torpedo drop, missed. Uh, what's my take on the new Dutch cruisers? I think they're a lot of fun. Uh, I prefer the lower tier to the high tier, actually. Um, I mean, we haven't been able to play past 9, but I feel like the Johan de Witt is lacking in some cases. Let me show you guys. Can, I don't think I can show you in port. But to me, the, the, the peak where I have fun is Tier 7, uh, because the Tier 7 is the smaller caliber guns that reload faster, and they make you a real pain in the butt when it comes to going after destroyers, or when it comes to going after, um, uh, after, let me change this to just co-op for a second. If you want to, you know, 
long range pew pew uh you could definitely do that but so when you get to the harlem which is tier eight the main battery shifts to 203 millimeter guns um and below that do i not i don't have the seven yet but the six has 152 millimeter guns and these things reload a lot quicker and in my opinion uh, to me that that's that's where the dutch ships are fun is uh lots of spammy spammy um the ability to charge in if you need it that you've got the uh the airstrike if you need it that sort of thing once you get to the harlem that becomes like a heavy cruiser um now the armor layout improves significantly so that's kind of nice compared to i'll go back to the tier six here and you can see the change there oh my commander got promoted that's neat uh, and then let's go to the Johan de Vett. Johan de Vett is the first of the super cruisers because there are, this is the first uh, tech tree line to, to feature super cruisers in it. So you can see it's got a 40 millimeter belt up front. Uh, somehow it was still getting penned quite uh, quite a bunch of the past two games by battleships. Uh, 40 millimeter. Give me a second here. I'm going to pull up a calculator. 40 times 14.3 is 572. So anything any battleship caliper shells that are are fired at the water lane in theory uh will be bounced off of this armor belt the side plating it's got 27 millimeters on the side and then it's got an additional 225 millimeter of armor protection within that so uh this ship will take penetration damage from shells hitting the side plating uh he and as well as ap ap will be overpens most likely uh, at the top, it's 25, which is typical for cruisers. 40 millimeter side upper belt, and then 30 millimeter deck. So it's okay, but the thing is that her guns are 240s, which are okay. Let's see how uh, I did in that one. Oh no, I went back down to 10. I'm so upset. Came in second. If that Z46 didn't ram the new Shimi, I would have came in first. <laughs> <laughs> Go figure. But look at how much work that buffalo did. That's the power of radar and knowing how to use that radar. So, whatever. Uh, my captain's been promoted. Do I want to put another one-pointer in? Nope. I want to hold and continue to work up that line. So let's go into... Whoops. I, I almost went into another ranked right there. <laughs> or another or co-op game. Cthulhu, what do you mean? If the BB nails you sufficiently close to the normal, that 40 millimeter icebreaker stops nothing. I'm not quite sure what you mean by that. Is the 200 millimeter the Citadel wall? I believe it is, Duckman. I'll take a look afterwards. Uh, our Hulk, I'll take a look at modules after this game too. Please remind me in case I forget, guys. Okay. No carriers this time. Neat. And only one battleship. We've got a Musashi. They've got an FDG. So that's an advantage, in my opinion, right there. They have an Alaska. We have two Azumas. So that's an advantage there. Plus they get a Kronstadt. So they have two radars to our zero. Uh, Ostergotland is slightly weaker. Asashia will do absolutely nothing with its ultra deep water torpedoes in this game. So we have an advantage in battleships. They have an advantage in cruisers. And in destroyers oh perpendicular yeah yeah yeah. okay so in other words it's able to get a yeah a 40 millimeter isn't going to do anything against that a, a, a broadside or uh you know even slightly angled right like that you have to basically get it kind of like that well that's true simboto if the musashi knows how to hide the cheek all right, so Musashi is going to head that direction, so I'm going to work my way down uh, down the AB side here, I think. We'll see what we can make happen. I like that the Azumas are splitting, at least. And my two 40mm guns could, could prove to be decent for, um, for cross shots and stuff like that. I also have German Hydro, or decent... Not, it's not... I don't know if it's German Hydro, but it's Hydro that reaches 5 km either way, so... So that's good.
Is it British? What are you doing up here already? Shots for free? Yes, please. What's up, Mac Allen? And oh my god, why did I not notice that? <laughs> Skipper from Gilligan's Island. That's that's true, I suppose. And how you doing, Mac? Good to see you. Hey well, Mac, he's got the khaki shirt shorts on like the skipper too. I just realized it. Also oh on Sidkin's recommendation. <laughs> Radar by the Alaska. You up like the skipper today? And no, you decide on the captain's hat. I said to wear the black one. We're gonna lose a ship already? No, Mogador's somewhat healthy. So see, you dressed you up like the skipper. Oh, okay. You totally did, Mac Allen. Thank you. Yes, you did make her day. Oh, there's an Ibuki up here too, huh? That's cute. I'm looking for you now. I'm finding you. I'm finding both of their destroyers, actually. This is kind of neat. And comes the part where he panic turns and torps. This is the part where I slow and turn and dodge most of them. Oh, come on. Oh well, I'm gonna go out pretty quick here. But I will take him with me. <laughs> so there goes that. Now we're gonna be stuck just watching the rest of the battle. Sorry guys, that's gonna be boring, I know. That's okay, Skipper, you do what's best. Actually, what do you guys think? Do you want me to do a different ship? Good trade for him, Cthulhu? Maybe. I consider it a good trade because Akita Kaze that knows what he's doing is a really big threat. So, whatever. Any tips for you, Gumo? Um, you got the best. You got the best concealment there, so just enjoy the uh, using the uh, uh, torpedoes at close range. I could go play a black battle, though. Wait, I'm entertaining? He's not a noob Kitakaze by any means, Cthulhu. If you saw how he was playing, he had himself smoked up in a pretty powerful position there. And he reacted to me exactly how he should. So, no, I don't consider him to be a, a newer player at all. And by the way, guys, before it even gets brought up, I'm a Marianne. Just so, so you know. we have... All of these ships over here at CCAP. And this poor Fletcher now, I think, is being radared by the Kronstadt. But the Musashi just did that, so that's neat. Maybe the Asashio could do something. We'll see. Oh, yeah, exactly, our Hulk. Okay, they've spotted each other. They gotta shoot now. Kronstadt continues to get whittled down. Unfortunately, the Azuma has decided to stop. That's a big mistake. The Azuma should have been helping to kill the, the Akizuki. Uh, but instead, he's not going to, which is going to bring down the Asashio. <laughs> Mogador says this team sucks. I put Booba. I mean, what do you expect? You bring an Asashio to a game, and I mean, it's not his fault. He had no idea what the game was going to entail, but come on. Two 
but one battleship on each team that's it his deep waters are useless guys four minutes left in stream raiders zach did you know you don't have your timer up oh you know what i turned that off because i recorded something earlier thank you there it is uh -huh. Now the Azuma kills the Elster Gotland. See, if he had come forward, like I had mentioned, he would have been able to wreck both destroyers, but instead he just sat there, and now he takes a Citadel from the Kronstadt. Oh well. After this battle, guys, I'll pull the giveaway. Yeah, Aki and, and Kida are huge threats in ranked. They've got just ridiculous penetrating capabilities. So, I mean, you know, they need to get off. So, like, like I didn't mind trade. I, I really didn't want to trade, obviously. I was hoping I wouldn't. But, unfortunately, I took that second torpedo amidships. Oh, well. Zuma took the long way around too. If he would have been with me to start, I think that would have been better too. But it is a weird one. Yeah, it is. A, it's a cruiser that's got no torpedoes. It's got 305 millimeter guns. Um, it's actually really strong against enemy cruisers. Uh, he just really didn't play that right. That's okay. Zach, you have a question in stream. Uh, Arhok, I, I, I don't really care. You, you're welcome to try, but obviously if you're on the enemy team, I'd prefer if you don't, uh, you know, if you mute the stream or whatever. Yeah, no stream sniping. Because, I mean, to be quite frank, it's like, it's whatever. This is, this is ranked battles. It sucks enough as it is. So, you know. What's a little extra suckage? You know what I mean? Like, it really doesn't matter. Look at those shells from that Azuma downtown. He's helping. I'm glad the Fletcher survived, so that's good. Although he is still in radar range of the Kronstadt. And the Kronstadt's being smart and parking the ship. Because he's looking at the Musashi, and the Musashi is fully broadside to the Kronstadt. Yes, he is the stud muffin. And unable to kill, unfortunately. How much you want to bet there are torpedoes coming for that Musashi right now from the Ibuki through the channel? Oh, another big hit. On that Musashi from the Alaska, I think. Maybe from the Kronstadt. Musashi is showing a lot of cheek right now. Don't know why he turned like that. He's one with the ladies. He's also one with showing off his sits, let me tell you. Come on, sit slap him. Oh. He already got sit slapped. Bye bye. How to not play a Musashi. <laughs> 30 seconds, guys. Oh, it's goodness. Please stick those units in. Last chance. Just had to. <laughs> Alaska slams it hard into Mr. Stud Muffin's cheeks. Wow. Yes. Yes. Battle's ready to begin. All right. Well, this this is pretty much over anyways, so we might as well go to Stream Raiders and start our battle. Uh, we got 34 allies. This is probably not going to be good. What do you think, Sith Kitten? Stronghold? Um. Honestly, I would find most of the wherever most of the what's it called are the rogues and speed them up because if they run and take care of those buildings okay well you've got it I'll, I'll go ahead and put uh haste over your guy and the rest as much of the rest of the team as i can 
We can try that. Sounds good. All right, guys, we're going to run a 30 second ad. And as we get started with our uh, battle, here we go. to the buildings. Are we gonna, we're gonna, looks like we're gonna do this. Cthulhu's got a healer going, Skyreek's got a healer going. Nice. Oh my god, we got this. Nice work, everyone. Alright, Felipe. There you go, have some scrolls, and random winner Simboto and Cthulhu get some good stuff too. Alright, so now we're going to move on to uh, our boss fight. Now, for the boss fight guys, whoever gets the most kills wins a CC container or the tier 2 Abru. We have one more of those codes available guys. The Abru is a ship that you cannot buy, you can only win from codes okay it's an ultra rare ship as a result so you have a choice between that or a cc container if you get the most kills on this particular fight so bring your biggest and your best units and here we go and what do i want to place i'm gonna go by level i'm gonna bring i'll bring my archer i like my archer a lot Throw away 762 is now following. I think we'll do a kind of like a something like that. All right. So go ahead and drop your biggest and baddest units and let's win this boss fight. Simboto, you didn't see an ad? That's interesting. Did anybody else uh, not see an ad? Well, I'm a sub, so. Right. So subscribers won't see an ad. Um, and then people who are. Uh, People, uh, if you jumped in and saw an ad when you came in, uh, you probably won't see an ad if it was a recent thing. Quad Q says me. Okay. Now, I'd love to show you guys the statistics, but of course, there's the fun bug where we can't see the damn statistics. So, as a result, all we can do is go into battle. And look, we're still ranked 10. I mean, if I lost a star or I saved my star, it wouldn't have really mattered. Maybe it's your total AV. I'm, I'm good, good to hear that you saw an ad quad, so that tells me the button's working fine. That's the important part. By the way, hello. Good to see you. And how are you doing today? Let's get into my dashboard. Epic Primal Paladin. There you go. There you go. All right. What do we got here? A straight nine battle. Oof. Lots of destroyers. All right. Hey, our Hulk is on my team. Good. So feel free to stream snipe me. <laughs> You saw an ad that was so terribly scripted and acted that it trashed your enthusiasm for the product. Awesome. All right. Now, Hi. our... Yep. Speedy Crick. Oh, congrats, Speedy Crick. So we've got uh, our Hulk in the Georgia. Oh, an our Hulk, while I'm thinking about it, have a compliment. And uh, Tactical Insanity was in our last battle. He was in the Akazuki, did quite well for himself. Oh no, we've got war. <laughs> you know, when you play the game for years, you start recognizing names and stuff like that. And war is one of those names I recognize. I won't explain, I won't tell you why necessarily, but Perhaps in time you'll see. What is it good for? Absolutely nothing. Kremoa's here. What's up, Kremoa? How you doing? And Chobes is here. Chobes. 
good to see you, dude. How have you been? Flops out of the soup vat. <laughs> You're good? Awesome. Hey, Sith Kitten, Kromoa, I guess, is a streamer. So do me a favor and shout Kromoa out. And I think Chobes is also streaming. I don't know, but let's give him a shout out, too, if he is. I'm doing fine today, Kromoa. Uh, I played some test ships earlier before stream just to kind of get some battles out of here so that we're not mired for hours trying to get a couple of wins uh, for our battle uh, for our day. So that way we can get to some replay analysis. There's Kromoa right there. And Chobes is playing no game. <laughs> oh, Vissy's a streamer too? I didn't realize that. And hey, while we're at it, why don't you shout yourself out, kitten? Well, you had TV in your name there, Chobe, so we, we really didn't know. Cat ripped your green screen to shreds. Uh, what kind of video card do you have, Kromoa? I'm not your buddy, pal. Hmm. Oh, they have an Alaska, which is a, a big problem for our destroyers. 270 super, okay. 2070 super. Alright, I whacked that uh, Kitakaze a little bit. Well, Lord Belmar, you can apparently cause Dutch ovens with it. Top or bottom five? I wouldn't put it... I, I would probably put it seven or eight. It's okay. I don't know that... Uh, I don't know that it's, like, absolutely fantastic, but we'll see. Our Fletcher's going way wide over there. I don't like seeing that. And I also don't like seeing their uh, Musashi over where he's at. Okay, another fire going. So, look into uh, look into some software, uh, Chromo called uh, Nvidia Broadcast. I think it applies for t for twenty series cards as well. Um, but you might actually be able to stream without a green screen. I am. Nvidia Broadcast for my thirty seventy at least is uh, using AI scripting to take away the. Uh, uh, the, the background and stuff. So, I don't have to... I don't need to have a uh, green screen anymore. It's really nice. Tashkent and Friesland are over on the other side. Yeah, because we have three destroyers over here. I usually don't like when I see destroyers uh, bunching up together. Because they just get themselves into trouble. Uh, the third doesn't really do too much and unfortunately then you end up with a situation with it's a one on one on two on the other side but we've got our Hulk in the Georgia hanging out over there so that might actually work out in our favor war is going to get himself hydroed and killed though so I need to prepare for that eventuality Ah, you brought out Booba again. Mm -mm. Nope. Michael Myers. Oh, Michael Myers. Okay. It does work on 20 years. I thought it did. And war is now under attack because, of course, we've got Hydro being used by the FDG. Oh my god. Surprise, he died. Is he gonna trade though? Okay, well he at least got the trade. So that's nifty. Yeah, our Hulk's in trouble. I'd love to help you, bud. I would. Um... I need to get into A, and then I need to come back down. 
Fletcher's over there. Okay. Yeah, so they sent three destroyers over there. Wait, do we have five destroyers in this match? No, okay. Friesland dies by Torps. That's huge, actually. So how many of you guys watched the Verizon tournament on Sunday? Okay. Valmar, Simbato, Skyrim. Don't like seeing. I don't like seeing that. Him, he's there. Come on, get out of here. Did you guys notice sets. anything about Lord Zath during that stream? If you can't do much, Arhulk, just run and survive for right now. Let's see if I can hit this Kita. Well, not the no suit and tie, but it does have to do with his clothing. Oh my god, I'm gonna get blocked by the Azumo here. Come on. Damn it. I wanted to go after that Kitakaze and Hydro him, but I can't because this Azumo's in the way. <sighs> Alright. A suave mofo. A suave huh? mofo. I like it. But no, that's not that's not what I'm talking about. Wow, Zach, nobody noticed. Nope. See, that's what I told you. Like just me. I'm the only one who noticed you and yelled at you about it. Yep. These are the torpedoes that I was expecting to come. That's why I had hydro on. Hopefully, the Zumo is going to hit the brakes too. Well, technically, he didn't have pants on. He had shorts on. Come on, guys. You gotta kill that freaking Kitakaze already. He says, get back. Sure, let's just let that Kitakaze run roughshod over our team. No problem. God damn, this, this, these new Tsushimis, both of these new Tsushimis just totally screwed up this battle. So guys, I'm gonna do a side giveaway. What the hell's a side the giveaway? First... Oh god. You guys should really check out that VOD. And tell me guys how many times Lord Zath changed his shirt. And the colors. And the first person to get it right, to whisper me and get it right. I'll give a CC code to you. There you go. Time to test the icebreaker bow. Well, I mean, Dutch Eagle, as a mod, that's my job is to notice everything. But, I mean, this, this was, yeah. I, I noticed right away, I was even, like, yelling how many times. <laughs> Can confirm. Hey, get Dutch ovened. All the fires. Come on, kill the fuck Kitakaze, let's go. Bounced off the deck armor. Did you see that? I just bounced an 18 inch shell off the deck armor. Feels good. You're welcome to see. Okay, Kitakaze's dead. That's good. Come on, Citadels. Nope.
Aha! That's what I'm looking for. Fine, you want a citadel me? No problem. Bye! I have no idea what that Azumo is doing. He's just been back and forth all over the place. And... Yeah. I don't know, Duckman, where is it? The one torpedo, right? The one torpedo. Come on, our Hulk. Get it, get him, get him. Uh, got some resets, so that's nice. As the Azumo is just going to go full broad here, trying to... Come on, guys. Now, our Hulk still has that Fletcher to deal with. He's dodged those torpedoes. So that's good. <laughs> and you killed the Tashkent, of course. Now, both of those torps have gone, so our Hulk can at least... Can at least try to go after the uh, the Fletcher. Hopefully he's not going to shoot here. Because uh, he doesn't want the Fletcher to know which direction he's coming in from. So this gives him a chance he could turn uh, his engine boost on. He can go straight after the Fletcher if he wanted to. Uh, it looks like he's going to choose to turn out instead. That's alright too. Uh, CS Prosty, the Tier 8 Alaska that's in testing, I believe you're talking, I think it's called the Congress, uh, and it's still in testing, so don't forget, ships ships often go in testing for a very long period of time. Got some nice resets there. I would very much love to see our Nusushimi, that has a superhero, mind you, actually getting into the battle. Uh, instead, he wants to sit there and pee pee over an island for free. That's not going to help. Yeah, so these ships oftentimes will be in testing for a good a good amount of time. Tone was in testing for so her original ship model was in the game like yeah years ago, and then she just uh, they they took her out and and her model disappeared. So, come on, dude, get in A. Uh, I have a strong feeling Blamo is going to get blammed. Yeah, I understand you, you didn't walk because you, you figure you'll... Oh, there we go. Okay. We got lucky that the Fletcher took that Nooster Torp because uh, you, you probably can't see it unless you're looking at my stream, but Nooster Shimi is just too afraid to engage. So... um. We're going to win on two caps, yes. The question is, will our, our Zumo die here? Akagi and Shimo Shinano would be great. I agree. Um, the Shinano was in testing. I can't remember if it was part of beta testing. I know it was in closed alpha testing for a bit. Oh, come on. I, I called it. I called it that this Jutland was going to get blammed. Or maybe not. Put your Hydro on. Yes, the, the Jutland is a Chad. Uh, if only he had a Destroyer to support him. <laughs> and meanwhile, look at this. Look at what's going to happen down here. Oh, nice hit. Nice hit. Let's see if we can see that again. Test my instant replay functioning. Yes, it is. Yeah, I, d I definitely agree. Uh, Jetland deserves plus one. Although I don't like that he was so close. Uh, he almost died at that Fletcher there. But hey, it worked. It worked. Hey, Perez, how you doing?
and done. Oh look, I won again. And one more and I get steel. Look at all this stuff I got done with. <laughs> wow, I came in first. Um, Jutland, here you go, compliment. Not bad, huh? Did 30 only, but mostly to destroy her, so 1.8 case. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's that's the thing. If you know what you're doing in a, in a Georgia, I mean, you are a force to be reckoned with. I'm amazed this guy got so high. He must have done some real good work. Uh, maybe the Alaska, but also on some of the destroyers. So that's good. I'm glad to see that. Um, yeah. So that was good. Hi, Bismarck. And the Alaska saved a star over there. Not surprised at all either. So that takes care of that. Um, quick check on Stream Raiders, guys. We've got 10 minutes to go before we uh, start that off. Um, and I would love to know from you guys. Let's get my... Uh, oh, I got my Dutch Cruisers Part 1 done. I'd like to know from you guys what you would like to see next. Uh, let me go to create a poll. Actually, there we go, new poll. Next. Two options. Okay. Uh, I'm going to give you three minutes. Bismarck. 1976 is now following. Thank you very much for the follow. Appreciate that. So, I'm going to ask you guys right now what would you like to see me do next? I don't know what that means, Lord Belmar. Um, would you like me to talk about the Missouri in a Zath chat, or would you like me to move into replay analysis? I'm going to give you three minutes to decide, and during that time, I'm going to go hit the bathroom. Um, so I'm going to take a three-minute break for a sec here as well, okay? We'll be back shortly, guys. As soon as I can find the freaking button. What? Really? Oh, there it is. Be right back. Oh, oh, Lord Belmar mentioned... Okay, that's what he was telling me. Okay. <laughs> Good yep, job. He, he looked it all up and saw that you changed three flipping times. Well, good. Congratulations to Lord Belmar on that. Uh, believe it or not, Sea uh, Raptor didn't even know. He didn't even notice. Uh, let's collect my last container here. Told y'all he was the king of the teas. Well, so that's the thing. Like, you know, you keep calling me that, and I said, well, I didn't like how I looked with the blue shirt on at the start, so I said, to hell with this. Uh, l let's change. That's exactly what I did. And then he's like, do another one. Right? Now, um... Chat, can you guys help me out by posting a link to an epic battle? Or sorry, to uh, the, the post about the Missouri change. I'm sure it's it's I'm sure it's up there someplace. I like to look fresh. Damn right I do. Puckhead, what's up, dude? What's up, Puckhead? 